folks that work here on, on Crew 12 uh, have done amazing work. Uh, and I don't mean just with the Byron Wildland Fire Center, but with the crew program in general. And uh, when I came out here in January to look at the facility, uh, I think it was before the purchase went through, uh, it had been in a state of disrepair and, and abandonment for a while. And to see where it has come, there has been a tremendous amount of work, a tremendous amount of sweat equity put into this. And I think partly that's because this is going to be their home. Uh, and they take a lot of ownership with it. But it's not just the grounds. If you were to walk into some of the facilities and, and see them and, and be able to have seen them prior, uh, it has been an amazing amount of work uh, that has been put in. Uh, and that ownership really shines uh, in some of these, uh, these buildings. So uh, no doubt that this will serve uh, Crew 12 and the district well for, for years to come. As far as like training goes, uh, what makes this particular facility uh, stand out amongst other facilities in, in Contra Costa County? It provides us a lot of land. There's 50 acres of land out here and it provides us property to do wildland firefighting. Um, everything short of actually burning the grounds. We can use our hand tools. It's our own property. We're not disrupting the environment. We can practice hand line construction, uh, hand tool usage, and other associated wildland firefighting skills. And we are surrounded by agriculture land out here. We're on 50 acre parcels. This is, we're currently not doing any live fire training here on the grounds and we don't use any chemicals. So we're mainly using hand tools. There will be, and the neighbors may hear an increase in siren noise because we'll be responding out of here because it puts us in a closer proximity to the hills to the south of us, to the Marsh Creek Corridor, to Vasco Road, to the other areas where we currently have a long response time from current stations. So it does put us much closer proximity to areas that um, have greater response times. This is a, a facility that's going to be able to help regionally, but also East Contra Costa where we have so much open space and um, this, so it's, it's, it's serving a lot of purposes.